Hello again, it's John. And in this video, we are going to um, we're going to add difficulty levels and levels. So uh, we're only going to put the mechanics in. We're not going to do the, the the front interface to say what difficulty level would you like and what level would you start like start. We want to be able to put the mechanics in to do that to make this game a bit more exciting. So this is. Uh, part 18 of this uh, mega long series and we're going to try and ident identify all the variables that need to be altered to make life easier or more difficult so the the variables I've identified at the moment are the gravity value the thrust value so for example to make it more difficult we could up how strong gravity is and lower the effectiveness of thrust and to make it easier you would vice versa it make gravity less have less influence and make thrust have more influence we could also make the landscape easier or harder to deal with um, how much thrust is used per cycle when you're using it um, so you for harder difficulties you can make it use more of your fuel than if it was in easy mode where you could use less of your fuel um, the landing pad values so in Jupiter lander uh, for the 64 and the VIC-20 each platform had a multiplier and I think it was times 2 times 5 and times 10 well that's what that would be would be uh, any sort of multiplier that we want to add to how we do the scoring uh, horizontal inertia we set it to a specific value of two but we and and that is um, that is the acceleration or deceleration left or right but we could make it a lot higher for make it more difficult or a lot lower to make it easier um, fuel tank size how much fuel have we got in that tank how much fuel is available so at the moment we have a full tank of fuel so we could make it half a tank or you know but it, that's another variable that we can mess around with and the other ones is the landing packs landing pads x and y coordinate because if we change the scenery if we change the land, landscape we need to know what the x and y coordinates of the new landing pads are so we need to be able to specify those so with that said, let's get into it and see if what we can do. So here we are in the Lunar Lander source and what we need to do is basically create an array of data. Now in, in the memory we have got all the memory working memory locations that we use and so we're going to have to populate all these working locations of everything so where did we put the code for for the setup let's have a look so that's setting up the sprites read input where's the code right so this is the level set up scene well ever one right so this is right so this is the scene so what we need to do here is we need to have a, an array of uh, oh, I've already said that go on I may have already said that. Stop. Whoops. Run away battery. Um, I think I've already said that. Right. So we're going to need two more variables. So in the memory, we're going to have to create two more variables. And they are going to have to be game level. And we'll set that to byte naught. Because we're going to say level level one is naught, you know, we're going to work up in that way. And game difficulty difficulty 
I'm going to do the same with that. So byte naught. So here, naught equals easy. One equals me normal. And two equals hard. So that's what how we're gonna we're gonna have the three levels, and we're going to uh, do it that way. Okay. So <clears throat> I think we should do it under game memory. Oh, that's where we are. And put the array here. So we need a game level array and we need a game diff difficulty array. So that's what we need and so what we can do is we can then in the game level array we can populate all the things that we need in a specific order so if we go by what we put here gravity is the start point so gravity has two bytes a low and a high byte so we can say you know um, byte 0, 0, 0 and we'll make that gravity Oops, comma gravity. <laughs> Stop it. And then what's the next one? Thrust. Not coming out. landscape we'll leave that in a bit so thrust cost thrust cost so where's that I think that's hard coded in okay so we'll do that we'll put that in I think that's in the game lander code thrust cost No, it's not in there. Not in there. it was in flow but it can't be no game lander must be in here then just missed it you guys are probably shouting at the telly now it's there John it's there what are you missing it for it's there Oh, right in front of me, look, it's there. Plank. Oh, so, the thrust fuel cost is taken away from the fuel bar. Right, so we, we definitely need that. Byte, naught, comma, naught. Thrust. Rack thrust cost. Next one is uh, landing pad values. So 
like no come on come no landing pad multipliers uh, what's the next one horizontal inertia right no come on Next one, da, 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 da. fuel tank size. Fuel tank size. And the only reason I've put one on there is because I know that the fuel tank's only one, one byte. We don't do uh, fractions on that. Next one is landing pad X and Y coordinates. So this is going to be, uh, we'll do X first. So this is X pad one start X. Pad one finish X. Add one start Y Pad one finish Y. So we do that for all of them. So two two Two, three, three. Three. Okay, so that's that. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Oh yeah. And then we can do the the landscape so at level one landscape so at level one easy And then we can copy the landscape from here. Like so. Copy. So that would be level one. And so what we need is, we need an array here of the thing. So what we need is a word at level one easy. Word at level too easy word at level three easy because that's going to start the levels so Yeah, but at level one, there are okay. Uh, a difficult difficulty. 
so we need two we need two rays so um, the first array is pointing to the level array and then the level array is pointing to the data so level one array 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 so this is level one array and then that is going word at level level one easy and then word level two no level one normal and then the next one would be word level one hard so then we have another one so let's take these at signs out so then that would so level one easy is there and then we have another one called level one level one normal so put that there level one normal whoa level one normal and then we do it again level one hard Right, so let's have a look. So we'll, we'll run these out because we're only using level one at the moment. Right. Now I've put here difficulty array, so that's now irrelevant because I've already got that. Maybe I should make that. That can't because that's the level one difficult level one array. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. GM, GM, GM. So here we go, GM, and then we've got the levels, so at that one, and at that one. So level easy, level normal, level hard, because we're going to make them temporary ones. Uh, level normal hard hard right so we're going to set up the easy one and we're going to make what we've got at the moment so we're talking naught in gravity and thrust and in and inertia so that's there and then gravity is two gravity fraction is two two uh, thrust fraction is four um, horizontal inertia is two Right, so so the cost fraction is 64. Cost is 64 fraction. Uh, what else is there? So 
So everything's set to zero. Except for the sprite numbers. Skip rate. Okay, so there's other values that we need. So landing pad multipliers. So we'll go 10, 5, and 2. Because pad 1 is more difficult than pad 2. Uh, pad 1 start x. Think that was in the I think that was in the flow. Yeah, there we go. So, so that's star x and start y. Uh, start finish x. So star x is oh eight oh one, wasn't it? Dollar oh eight. $1. And then it was dollar eleven, comma dollar one. That can't be right. That's not pad one. No way is that pad one. No, that's pad three. That is pad three. Wait, dollar one, dollar eleven, dollar one, and flow CA was the uh, Y start dollar CA. Right, next one. 8C to 9, 1. 8C to 9, 1. 8C. 9, 1. And it's 84. Da -da -da -da. And the last one is 3F to 42. Three F forty-two. And the Y is E4. E4. Right, so that's set all the easy values, I think. Fuel tank size, ah, we're missing that, aren't we? So the fuel tank size, if my memory serves me, is 95. No. Yes, 95, 95. So fuel tank size is, was it 95 decimal? Can you remember? So that's that. So now it's a case of setting up this setup game variables. We now have to um, look at the array and populate. So what we're going to say is x equals level comma y equals difficulty so we are going to zero pages set up 
Z store zero page low, zero page high. Okay, we can do that. So, <clears throat> so, oh my god, 25 minutes already. Uh, LDA. Game array. Comma. Y. Store it in zero page low. LDA game level array comma Y plus one and that is STA zero page high right then so LDA zero page low comma X I don't think we can do that I do not think we can do that so we will transfer a X into A and then transfer A into Y and then do Y finding files zero page low Zero page low two, zero page high two. Now oh, we can use that one. So we load the address and we store it in zero page low two. Increase Y and do the same again. going into high two so this so this is getting get level data location and then this get Difficulty level location. Right then, so oh, half an hour. Bloody hell. Uh, So, LDY hash naught. So we're starting off at the beginning. So the first one is gravity fraction. So LDA, break it zero, page low two, comma Y, STA, gravity. Fraction. So we're storing it in gravity fraction. In increase y, and then do the same thing again. But this time it's not gravity fraction; it's gravity. Okay. Increase y. Do it again. 
This time it's thrust fraction. Same again. This time it's for thrust cost. <coughs> Excuse me. Do it again. This time it's for. Landing pad multipliers. Okay, so we're going to load, but we're not going to store it. Increase Y, not going to store it. I and Y, LDA, zero page, load two, comma Y, and then do store. Multiplier. Hopefully that will that will uh, keep me honest. We'll rim out the LDAs as well. We'll just make it do the iron wise until I'm ready, and then the next one is horizontal inertia. So, horizontal inertia frac, horizontal inertia, and then the next one is the fuel tank size. Now this one, we haven't got a memory Thing. So what we're going to do is going to put it in. So I'll add it here. Fuel tank size. And byte naught. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy that and put it into the fuel tank size. Which is here. spell fuel so it's no longer a static value fuel tank size go back to the memory and put the word in right so here is fuel tank size Copy this again. Oops. That's what's next. Fuel tank size. Then it's the uh, the pads. This is going to be interesting. we need to write a, we need to write a routine to do the equivalent of where is it Oh, I've lost it again, I've lost it again. Get a grip, John. Where are they? Oh, 
Must be in flow, but flow's no longer oh, flow's there. There we go, here. So we're gonna have to create a new library in the Lunar Lander. And the Lunar Lander. Yeah. So instead of looking at values, it's looking at addresses. So I will do we'll we'll do that in the next video because this is now 35 minutes long. So this is definitely going to be a two-parter. So I will leave it there and we'll carry on in the second part. So we've got to do all that. So it's just basically the pa pads, got to do the pads. And then we've got to do the routine that um, does the the printing of the landscape. Yeah. Printing of the landscape. Because, yeah. So we might have to do that here. Uh, do a word. And B at level easy landscape. Dropped back into my old assembler. <laughs> Because, yeah, drop back into my old assembler because my old assembler was WRD. You can tell what I've been working on recently. Uh, I've got it all over the place, haven't I? Oh no. Oh no. So, we'll just copy that, and make everything the same. So, this is normal. will be hard. But you shouting at the screen, John, you spelt it wrong. Whoops. Right. So part two, we're going to create that new routine in the lib lunar land, uh, lib lunar uh, macro routine to take instead of the value, take an address, and then we'll finish this off where we can set the level and the difficulty, and then we'll run it and see if we've broken it. <laughs> anyway, we're 40 minutes into it again. Um, if you like what I'm doing hit that like button. If you don't like what I'm doing, fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment. And if you want to contribute to the channel and support me, um, consider becoming a patron. Because all the money that's raised from that Patreon account goes back into the channel. And with that, I will see you in part two. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.